Greetings, Millbrook families. This is news from around the district in a Millbrook Minute. First up, we have Mr. Seip from the high school. Thank you, Superintendent Hernandez. This week wrapped up our AP exams. Thank you to everyone for your cooperation during these past two weeks. Additionally, we held our Spring Arts Festival on Wednesday night. What amazing performances by our band and chorus students, and what beautiful displays of art. Congratulations to Mrs. Kring, Mrs. Barnes, Mr. Dunninger, Ms. Scovan, Dr. Betts on the piano, and all our musicians and artists. Also, special thanks to our Interact Club. Yesterday, we held a blood drive sponsored by the Interact Club, and they collected 29 pints of blood. Thank you to all the students, staff, and public who donated. Later today, we will be off to our prom. Special thanks to our advisors, Mrs. Kring and Ms. McCarthy for helping organize this special occasion for all of our students, and Mr. Porta, Ms. Watts, and Mr. Chinowski for helping as chaperones. Have a great weekend. Here is Mr. Cabello at the middle school. Thank you, Mr. Seip. Here at the middle school, we are closing out the year with our ABC countdown to the end. Uh, today is C day for camouflage, and we're really looking forward to doing all these wonderful spirit days. Make sure to check your newsletter uh, to assist your student in getting prepared for those. We had a very busy end of the week. Uh, our seventh graders were in Philadelphia enjoying an incredible trip and are on their way home and have reported nothing but great things. Here in the building, our sixth and eighth graders participated in a parent unif uh, reunification drill. The drill went really well, and I cannot thank enough the multitude of people that were involved. Our teachers, our staff, facilities, the team over at BOCES that assisted and observed and gave us a bunch of tricks along the way, and most importantly, our parents. We really appreciate all of your patience throughout the drill and helping us to be on the cutting edge of safety here in Dutchess County and beyond. With news from Alden Place, here's Mr. Lipka. Thank you, Mr. Cabello. What a wonderful time on Tuesday at Alden Place Field Day. Thank you to high school helpers, food service, and our custodial and maintenance crew for the extra support. At last Wednesday's Kindness Club meeting, a fourth grade student surprised the group with a slideshow about the meaning of kindness. Her effort to gather videos, photos, and printed material, materials was amazing. Hats off to Gianna for the valuable program. And next week, the Alden Place Open House is planned for Tuesday evening, 6.30 to 8 p.m. You're welcome to check out each classroom and bulletin boards for displayed student work. Student music musicians will be performing in the all-purpose room. Alden Place teachers have planned an ice cream social for your enjoyment. And the Spring Book Fair will be in the, Al the Alden Library, manned by our Millbrook PTO. Have a great weekend. And now to Mrs. O'Connell at Elm Drive. Thank you, Mr. Lipka. It was a joy to see all of the future faces that will be part of Elm Drive as we screened our incoming pre-K and kindergarten students this week. On Thursday, our staff received professional development from Ms. Lizzie Hetzer. A huge shout out to Ms. Donahue, Elm's music teacher, for all of her hard work putting together an amazing spring music festival. And a huge shout out to the kids for all of their work that they put into making this an incredible performance. Next week, don't forget, we have our open house on Monday evening from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Also on Monday, we have mindful movements that will be returning for our students. And our Scholastic Book Fair will take place next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and will be open during our open house. Have a great weekend. And now on to Ms. Chernowski with news from Pupil Personnel Services. Thanks so much, Mrs. O'Connell. Uh, from Pupil Personnel Services this week, I just wanna send a really big thank you to our parents and families for such great participation and collaboration in our annual review meetings. We've had really successful meetings planning for our students' needs for the upcoming school year. We have a few meetings left to go, um, so I'm excited to kind of have those and wrap them up at the end of the year. But again, just a big thank you to all of our parents for your participation and collaboration in support of your students. Um, I hope everyone has a great weekend. And now on to Ms. Holzberg in Student Services. Thank you, Mr. Chanowski. So as we know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And yesterday we had faculty and staff support by wearing green. So thank you for all of those who participated to support. Additionally, please be on the lookout for more mental health awareness activities occurring in buildings this month. And that is all for Student Services. I wish you a great weekend. And now on to Dr. Watkins in Curriculum and Instruction. 
Thank you, Ms. Holzberg. So I too want to send a big congratulations out to our high school arts students. The Spring Arts Festival was outstanding. Millbrook is so fortunate to have so many talented artists and musicians. So definitely take a look on our Facebook page and Instagram to see some of the highlights of those photos of if you weren't able to be there. Also, as mentioned by Ms. O'Connell, I had the opportunity to visit classrooms with Ms. Hetzer and uh, see the great work that's happening in both our kindergarten and our first grade classes. And a special appearance was made by a chick in Ms. Doyle's room, so we got to see the birth of a new chick. Um, and the students were uh, gently petting with one finger. So uh, thank you to Ms. Doyle and Ms. Angelucci for welcoming us to their room for that. We wish everyone a wonderful weekend and now off to our assistant superintendent, Mr. Garcia with business and personnel. Thank you, Dr. Watkins. Uh, as many of you are aware, next Tuesday, the 21st is our annual uh, vote and election day. That will be occurring at Millbrook Middle School from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, we will be electing two board members as well as voting on our uh, general fund uh, proposition one for our operating budget for the 24-25 school year. In addition, there will be three capital project propositions on the ballot as well. For anybody who would like to become personally informed and, and understand all of the things that we're talking about, uh, whether it's our general fund uh, vote or our board elections or our capital vote, uh, please go to our website. There is a wealth of information available to you, uh, former uh, presentations, webinars, slideshows, um, frequently asked questions pages, voter information. Uh, there's so much information on our website. I encourage everyone that's wanting to know more about our process and what they're actually voting for next Tuesday to check out our website. The big button at the top of the page says capital project, but that will bring you to a splash page that has links to all of the things we're talking about. We encourage everybody to come out and support the district next week on Tuesday from 12 to 9 at the middle school. With that, we give you back to Ms. Hernandez to close us out. Thank you, Mr. Garcia. I just want to remind everyone in the community that there is no school for students this coming Thursday and Friday as we celebrate Memorial Day and remember those that made the ultimate sacrifice. Again, there will be no school for students Thursday and Friday of this coming week. We will see you back on the 29th and look forward to everyone enjoying a nice long Memorial Day weekend. All the best.